I'm Brady Aikenbotham, and welcome to Ask a Dev. Today's question is from Kyle, and he wants to know, what new JavaScript frameworks should I be looking into? That's a great question. It seems like there are many frameworks popping up each week, and it can be very challenging to know which one to use for which project. So let's look at a few of the ones that have been gaining traction with developers over the past few years. The first framework we'll look at is called Ember.js. Ember and its community have grown tremendously since it was forked from Sprout Core back in 2011. Some of its main features include Ember Data and its run loop. Ember Data is a robust data module that is designed to work agnostically with various backend services, such as RESTful APIs and streaming web services. Much of your code in an Ember project will take place in its run loop. The run loop is a batching system which queues up commands and minimizes the DOM updates that you have to make. This is especially important in optimizing speed for your application. The Ember team has also been hard at work in implementing a new templating system called HTML bars. This system will allow developers to better inject and manipulate data within the DOM. Another great framework is Backbone.js. Backbone is very lightweight and comes with a ton of great documentation. Its basic foundation and size allows it to be a small learning curve for newcomers. It employs custom events, collections, and connects all of it to your API. The Backbone core gives you a clean slate for your project, while Backbone built libraries such as Marionette provide a full application architecture. Some notable applications that have been inspired by Backbone are Facebook's Parse and our very own Lavaca Toolkit. This shows how Backbone could be a great front-end and back-end solution for your project. And perhaps the most widely used framework is AngularJS. Angular began back in 2009, but its popularity has exploded over the years. It is currently sponsored by Google and certainly has an argument as the top dog in the open source community. It boasts an impressive array of tools, such as built-in service helpers, automated unit testing, and most notably, its two-way data binding feature. It also allows you to create DOM elements by utilizing directives, code snippets that allow you to take control of your view. We've used Angular in a number of our own applications, and it is a great solution for large-scale data projects. Now, if you love Angular, you may also like a brand new framework called Ionic. Ionic is specifically geared toward hybrid mobile applications. It's already optimized for Angular, and it comes with its own command line interface that allows you to build and deploy to both the iOS and Android platforms. It's still currently in beta, but we've toyed around with it, and it shows great potential. Be sure to check it out. There are a number of great libraries out there with communities that are always willing to help you out, so don't hesitate to try one. You never know where it might take you. That's it for today's episode. Tweet your questions with hashtag AskADev or post them in the comments.